Hello friends, uh, today is my 19th presentation on the <coughs> uh, interesting topic of developing competency matrix for enhancing the role of uh, MEP uh, designers in the uh, real estate and hospitality industry. In fact, uh, in my uh, presentation of 14th January, uh, 17th presentation, I had talked about the uh, similar type of competencies for the architects. Based on the encouraged by the uh, encouraged by the response, uh, this uh, presentation is primarily for the MEP designers. Uh, competencies for the MEP designers. Uh, now, today's presentation is going to include the purpose of developing competencies matrix, five types of competency matrix for MEP designers, identification of the thirty six competencies within the five types of competencies, way forward and future references, of course. Uh, Purpose of developing competencies matrix for MEP designers. Uh, uh, this uh, uh, is necessary to enable hiring of the correct right candidates for the MEP design uh, through objectivity in the recruitment process, uh, facilitating the identifying the and placing of the right skilled MEP designers in the projects for specific design packages like plumbing or firefighting or designing electricals or HVAC or air conditioning and lifts and STP etc. and so on and so forth. Uh, enhance the fairness in the performance evaluation process, uh, which is usually done on annual basis. Transparency, transparency and thus, thus easier identification of the training and skill requirements of the MVP designers and contributing to the enhancing design excellence and hence organization's performance. Uh, the five type of competencies uh, for MVP designers are identical to that of architects, but the contents are different. These are technical competences, commercial competences, IT software related competences, legal competences and leadership competences. Now technical competences for MEP. <coughs> These are 12 uh, identified and for example the number one is the knowing the ba having basic knowledge of the features of the building services uh, like physical attributes and characteristics and functional and performance parameters for the various kind of packages which are relevant for the uh, buildings services. Uh, uh, requisite knowledge of the best design practices for the MEP design packages, uh, the design process for different type of building uh, related MEP designing techniques, crucial knowledge of the developing coordinated MEP designs, uh, uh, working knowledge of the construction methods, installation and commissioning of the MEP related building components, in-depth knowledge of the BOQ materials for different kind of MEP packages, basic knowledge of modern design methods and soft load software tools. Vital, quality, no, vital knowledge of the quality aspects of the MAP related design, uh, designs, basic knowledge of the installation and commissioning of the testing methods for the MAP equipment and BOQ, basic knowledge of the inspection methods and core knowledge of the quality standards applicable to MAP packages and necessary knowledge of the measuring instruments such as electricals such as multimeter, voltmeter, energy meter for uh, sounds, decibel meter, noise analyzer, for speed, tachometer, temperature, sensor, etc, etc. Uh, further details of each of these about 12 competencies are captured in my uh, handbook. In fact, the number of uh, packages uh, can go even beyond uh, 20, 30, 40, depending on the size and complexity of the uh, uh, project and the MVP services required to be uh, provided as per the needs of the uh, uh, customers and the building. Commercial competences. These are five commercial competences uh, identified, which are negotiating skills for the fees and for the uh, negotiating the fees for sample procurement and related to the MVP and BOQ equipment, cost estimation skills for the electrical uh, works, HVAC, plumbing, and so on. Uh, here I am talking about the for the uh, component uh, sample procurement uh, only because uh, I am assuming that the uh, main main package. Uh, involving several uh, uh, several several crores uh, of or several lakhs of rupees would be negotiated by a different team, and the uh, role of the MEP team is primarily uh, developing samples and approving those. Uh, hence, therefore, I talked about sample procurement, uh, cost estimation skills for electrical works, HVAC, plumbing, and so on, so on. Many other 20, 30, 40 packages. Developing uh, budget parameters, the ability to generate reports and MIS from the software, ERP, etc. Evolving coding scheme for the MVP related BOQ, uh, etc. 
details of these five competencies are kept in my handbook chief mvp designers can add more competencies in consultation with the human resource management team it software related competencies for mvp designers here the uh, first requirement is that uh, the uh, mvp designer must uh, have uh, basic working knowledge of the various type of software which are there for designing of the mvp for example autocad electricals smart draw autodesk ansys kick a lot revit mvp autocad hvac etc and so on so forth many other more uh, similar packages uh, basic knowledge of the erp solutions besides the ms offices ability to conceptualize and uh, develop mvp function related master data tables and construction tables ability to conceptualize and provide mvp related meaningful inputs to the it erp software teams for example uh, for master data tables construction tables design document management system kpi uh, etc and ability to generate very important reports from the data table software erp etc further details of these five competencies are captured in my handbook chief mvp uh, designers can again add more competencies in consultation with the human resource management team legal aspects related competencies for the mvp designers four aspects have been identified uh, that the mvp designers must possess the deep knowledge of technical aspect related to the various uh, relevant laws applicable to the building services uh, for example the air prevent in the context of the indian environments air, the air the air prevention and control of pollution act 1987 the water prevention control and pollution act 1987 uh, the environmental protection act 1996 rera etc etc a deep knowledge of the local regulations related to the MEV design functions such as national building codes 2016 application applicable standards for the uh, green building council led local regulation related to the services pollution etc familiarity with the relevant natural and international standards of the quality related to boq and building etc and essential knowledge of the standards related to the health safety and besides the various MEV design packages further details of these four competencies are kept in my handbook and more competencies can be added by the chief designer in consultation with the human resources management team. Leadership related competencies. These are exactly similar to the one which I identified uh, in my uh, uh, presentation of 14th January for the architect uh, uh, because these are generally common leadership uh, parameters, uh, competencies. There are ethical frame of mind, team management, team development, training, empowerment, alignment with the organization objectives. Uh, quality of the work, efficiency, effectiveness, analytical abilities, change management skills, benchmarking of competitors, design features of the various packages. And details of these are available in my handbook. Way forward. MEP designers therefore need to do following uh, visa vis MEP related design competencies uh, and uh, maybe with the help of the HR teams. Uh, number one, continuous enhancement of the 36 skills which I have mentioned above in the competencies uh, through training and development process. Outsourcing of the MVP designs to competent design firms in case in-house competencies are either not available or are inadequate. Finding and implementing best design practices by engaging the competent MVP designers and thus accomplishing the following. Design excellence, supporting improved quality of the construction, uh, hiring and engaging uh, highly competent persons that can contribute significantly to development of the robust MVP designs, accelerate the design efficiency and design effectiveness, uh, complying with the statutory conformances, Increasing sales revenue, improving the end customer satisfaction and developing and implementing the effective <coughs> performance measurement system for the designers based on the well-defined KPIs. You can refer to chapter 3 in my handbook for more details on the aspect related to the MVP uh, design uh, aspects uh, in my book which is titled as Ethics in the Real Estate and Hospitality Industry Volume 1, Architecture, Interior and MVP Designers and there is also a blog mentioned here which you can refer to. Uh, uh, there are some presentations in the my articles in my Facebook and LinkedIn also and uh, this book is available for sale on the paperback edition as also in the uh, <coughs> Kindle format. Thank you. Thank you very much.